my friends and welcome back to The Witcher 3. In yesterday's video, we did finish our investigation with the lovely Kira Metz into the elven ruin slash laboratory. And while we didn't find Siri, we did find out where we probably need to go next. And since that time, I have done quite a bit of exploration. So we are currently near where we need to go to for the Bloody Baron quest. And I left you off at near this boat entrance here. Now I did run up to try to do this hidden treasure, but way out of my skill limits. They were like full levels 14 or 15. I did make my way up to this additional fast travel point called Dwen Hain, I think, and fought a new kind of monster, which we'll go over in a few minutes. Um, but here was where one of the statues was that I needed to like put back into place for some nice little old lady. Then I've also cleared out this guarded treasure. I've cleared out this bandit camp. I took care of this abandoned site, which is now called Refugees Camp. I have did some several more bandit camps, uh, guarded treasures, and I also just finished a monster nest. So I've done lots of little things, more bandits camp. I, nothing super exciting happened in any of them. There was no like new amazing quest to do. I have also taken time to repair items. I've made new armor. I've emptied bags numerous times. I also managed to pick up a bunch of new treasure huts. Now, when I was going to the blacksmiths or the armor smiths, they had lots of like, I don't know, maps to purchase, which were very inexpensive. And I've picked up several quests. I think Griffin School was one of them. I think Cat School was another one of them. So they're just, I need to go find diagrams. Um, that's kind of all that I, that I understand that I need to do. But I have picked up quite a few bestiary entries, which I wanted to go over real quick. So one of them was from a book that I, I picked up and see here are my maps for all of the treasure hunts. Nothing, I don't think anything super exciting as of right now, but that was that. But the book I picked up was called In Beast Clothing. And it says they entered his hut and began to search. First they tore through his bed, dry twigs covered the sheet. That was the first proof for werewolves return at dawn after a night of hunting, their bare feet covered in the forest droppings. They found the second proof under his bed, a wolf's hide. The werewolf surely dressed himself in it when transforming with the setting sun and shed it again when he turned to man the next day. Having found these powerful proofs, they ceased deliberation and began the hunt, vowing to find the lycanthrope and bind him in silver chains. And... Oh yeah, my mysterious elf. I already read that, didn't I? Yeah, I did read that. So I have Oof Hedden, which is an entry of what looks like werewolves. So they're a breed of werewolf found mainly in Skellige. The harsh and barren conditions of the Isles might explain why they primarily hunt men and are stronger than their continental brethren. Older and particularly dangerous, Ufhedin, if I'm saying that right, are called Vorefs. Only a few daring warriors in all of Skellige history have managed to defeat an Ufhedin, and each of them is commemorated in ballads as a hero to this day. Like werewolves, um, they're active at night, particularly when the moon is at its fullest, fast, strong, and amazing resilient, amazingly resilient. These creatures kill with disturbing ease. Silver blades should be brought against them, as should Devil's Puffball, which I have a bunch of. <laughs> <laughs> Take note that when near death, they become particularly dangerous and will attack with doubled fury while cast calling on wolves to come to its rescue. And then we have just regular werewolves as well. So they're allergic to fire, which is great. Um, let's see. I also faced off, uh, Golems was yesterday. We faced off against that one. And then insectoids have been fighting lots of Endrica warriors and Endrica workers. I like the new model of the warriors, especially like the scorpion-like tail. It's really cool. So I've been fighting those today. And then I, I also fought against water hags, which was really creepy. 
So this one I wanted to read. It says, folk say water hags are drowners wives. If that be true, taint no wonder why they're such ordinary bitches. <laughs> Some tales mention water hags and swamp bins masquerading as lost old women to lure travelers back to the rickety shacks they build in the wetlands. In truth, only a blind man or a sighted blind man with drink could mistake the, the rank sludge and rotting carrion of a water hag dead for a cozy cottage and the hideous hag herself for an innocent grandmother. Their wrinkled wart cover bodies stand nearly two yards tall. It was really tall, I think, with skin the color of a long dead cadaver and stinking of muck and fish. Bony growth two spans long stick out from their backs with hair like a tangle of seaweed and claws that would make a werewolf proud completing the picture. It doesn't make sense, but okay. I think that was it for the new ones that I wanted to kind of go over. But yeah, that is that. I did all that exploration and looted and all those sorts of things. So hopefully I'm caught up. If I forget, if I remember anything else, I'll be sure to mention it. But I wanted to kind of get some stuff done off camera so that we could focus on actual quests on camera. If you guys want me to include more exploration of all this stuff, just let me know. I'm happy to, but I don't know. I thought it might be interesting to leave it out. One thing I did find was this forest hut, which was really, really disturbing. There was a man who had been hung outside and I think the wife and child were inside dead and it, oh, it was so awful. And I wanted to read it. And it says, the forest hut says, Though his friends advised against building a house in the middle of the woods, Hans refused to listen and did things his way. When the war broke out and laid waste to this region, Hans and his family lived in peace, untouched by troubles of the wider world, until one fateful night. And I wonder if I'm going to come back here for a quest. So, which if I do, at least I have a fast travel point. But anyway, Bloody Baron, that's the quest we're working on today. Well, at least the rest of today, probably. So it says, Nilfgaard's agent had determined Siri had stayed with the Baron, the self-proclaimed ruler of Velen. This man was known for his violent temper and three-mile-long cruel streak, hence his moniker, the Bloody Baron. Geralt, however, was not one to be frightened by nicknames, least of all those taken from bodily fluids, and so made his way to Crow's Perch, the Baron's seat, to ask about Cirilla. So that is our plan. We are right nearby and I am hopefully cross fingers all caught up with everything I did pre pre starting the video today. And I have enjoyed kind of writing Roach, but it's been very easy to just um, run around and do everything because I can loot and fight things a whole lot faster. I think I can fight on Roach, but that's a whole level of coordination. I don't think I have right now. <laughs> so anyway, let's go talk to the Baron's henchman, perhaps? Your pale as outy shy. Well, thank you. What? So we need to find the Baron. Let's see how this goes. Hmm. The chance the Baron will stay in the castle with a Baron like this. Well, I have a whole new area to loot, and I will, but maybe we Rain should... don't rust your blades. Maybe we should do it after we talk to the Baron? Let's just see if there's anybody... Oh, old woman. Hello, old woman. God's bless you. Okay, nothing there. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll loot it after we talk to the Baron. Where's all cool out? Although there is a merchant. A trader. Let's talk to him. Spot a cider for you? Or a bit of dry curd. My lad is not exactly burst him, but what I got sure to please. Hmm. Oh, Gwent. Uh, let's we'll do Gwent later, but let's see what he has. Well, he had Gwent Farewell. cards, and he also had a book with an exclamation point, which usually means quest. So religion and other life. Hmm. Is it an actual quest? Thing? It is. Quest books. Religion and life. And should we thus submit our life to religion or should we interpret religion so that it serves our lives instead? There are as many schools as there are philosophers, as many stories as there are human beings. And let us not forget elven beings, nor dwarven, halfling, gnomish ones, nor any other such sapient creature familiar with the quandaries of the soul. I, for my part, having survived now more than 120 years, vodka and radishes work 
wonders, lend no credence to anyone who claims differently, can swear with all certainty that there is no way to reconcile everyone at once. And what pleases one will provoke whinging and sulking in another. Whinging, that's such a good word. <laughs> and what pleases one will, oh, I already, said, I already read that. And will undoubtedly cause a third to reach for his knife. And if it dares depart from his known narrow world by so much as a hair, what then are we to do? How shall we live? Why, as we like, as our soul urges, disregarding all the brains of philosophers and ethicists, those contained in this tome included, disregard them as we would fairy tales or old wives' legends. Um, okay. I didn't really get any updates, but all right. Rats. Just sent Grandad H. This is Gosh, this little village is quite larger than normal. Anyone else have any comments? No? Let's go over here real quick. Well, sweetie, go inside the house if you're cold. If you have a house to go into. Okay, to... Who is that? Missing, Tamara Stringer, daughter of the Bloody Baron. Presumed kidnapped, hardy rewards whoever brings her in. I feel like we've seen that before. Hmm. Halt! Who goes there? No one. Baron home. <laughs> Depends who's asking. A witcher. Want to talk to him? Huh. Yeah. And I want to plow the lovely Queen Seru. Seen this man before. In at the crossroads. You was there not so long ago. Thought you were supposed to go your separate way, nice and all. Hmm. Got lost, sorry, bye. I did, it led me here. Let's go with that one. It led me here. Gotta talk to the Baron. Oh, I. What about? Something important. His ears only. Fine. Lodrin, let him in. If he makes any trouble, well, we outnumbered him. Open the gate. Sergeants! Ardell! Witcher! To see the Baron! Don't want no disturbances. That clear? What do you think? I vaguely remember those guys. I think I went into the inn and I was ordering a drink and they came in and were being obnoxious. I called you a sergeant. You a Temerian soldier? Not your concern, mate. Deserter. Temerian army don't exist no more. So what are you all doing here? Had a choice after the Black Ones thrashed us. Let it lie and try to lead normal lives. Or continue to resist, join the guerrillas and fight for our beloved Temeria till death do us part. We chose the former. And the Baron your commander? Hmm. Yeah. Commander. <laughs> I feel like you're being sarcastic. <laughs> Somatic trying to grip me. Oh, it's just a sneeze. But there's a notice board back there. We'll do that later. Let's try to follow the sergeant to the... Oi, lads. Fancy an outing to find that she-beast. Mean the Smiths, lass. Gap tooth one. Not a bad idea. Nice tits on her. I'm talking about the Shrieker. Wreaking havoc in the peasants' coops now. Are you barmy? Oh, we got us a hero looking to save the common folk. <laughs> Your mate split the loot between them long ago. At least that's what I would have done. And you, shut it now. Save your strength. Die with some dignity. Oh, there's a stash box over there. That'll be useful because I've got a bunch of stuff I want to like permanently drop off. <laughs> Infosema, now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. 
Oh, how we danced, how we twirled! <laughs> oh! One, two, three, one, two, three! <laughs> hey! Enough! I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Look at that! Didn't even stay for tea. In spite of all that blabbering about how cultured the nation is. <laughs> hmm. It's just that blabber didn't come here to chat. Um, let's... Well, we need information on this guy, so let's not be too rude. <laughs> Rumors rarely find confirmation in reality, especially the ones about foreigners. <laughs> right you are. I'm... I know who you are. I believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk inside. Make yourself at home. Now where'd I put the bloody vodka? Uh -uh. Ah, there it is. A snifter. Uh, sure, why not? Geralt, I'm sure, uh, likes to drink. <laughs> why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltes dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell! Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. <laughs> I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Eh. Uh, it, yeah, it's, it's pretty awful, to be honest. <laughs> I don't. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Um, yeah, at this point I think he needs to just kind of get to the point. Get to the point already. Siri. That's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago. Exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. Siri, oh, I get to play as Siri. What? <laughs> oh my god, that is so cool. <laughs> When you play a Siri, you cannot access the inventory or use signs. Of course not. She's not a witcher and well, she should have her own inventory, right? <sighs> that was close. I must leave this place. Is that? Was that just, was that my hawk's voice that I just heard? <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> I feel like I should have known that. That is so crazy. Okay. Anyway, let's not gush too much. Oh, I can't access my quest log either. Well, series story, the king of the wolves, follow the riverbed and find help. So, I can still, can I, I can still loop, but I can't access my inventory. But I can do normal stuff, okay. Uh, follow the riverbed to find help. Let's see, where am I actually going? Where am I actually anyway? Huh, okay. She needs help. Ah. 
You can come down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Um, yeah, maybe I am too. Yes, though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's Hawk's voice actor. <laughs> I love, I'm so excited again. I get to play a series. Sorry, I'm, I'm dorking out a little bit. Um, but how, how is it that you got here? Well, no, actually, where do you live? Let's try that first. Why don't you tell me where you live? In Lindenvale. They'd see to your wounds there. And how did you get here? How did you wind up here? My father brought me told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. Oh. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail, then I saw a butterfly, and I ran to catch it, and I lost my way. The father was Tate was trying to use the child to find his way to the forest witches, the crones, or whatever they were called. Ugh, bad parent, bad parenting. Anyway, <laughs> remember how to get home? You and your father, when did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come, I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. Right. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. The Wolf King? No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes. I mean, no. From behind a tree. He was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustably horrific. <laughs> terribly, disgustive, disgustably horrific. Well, that, that, that's so pretty descriptive. So, but don't be afraid. I, a Siri, will protect you. <laughs> See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do, too. Come, I'll help you up. <sighs> oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm playing a series. So cool. Um, all right, so we need to follow Gretka. Can we, Siri, can you just keep out your sword, please? Wolves! Quick, hide! Oh dear, oh dear. I have no way to protect myself. Okay. What, wait, what, what, what was that? Oh my God, that was so cool. Oh, we gotta do it again. <laughs> oh, let's do it again. It's the coolest thing ever. Oh my god, this game is so fun. <laughs> you can come out now. My, you're brave. My father couldn't even do that. Mine could do a lot more. Come. I'm assuming she's talking about Geralt when she says that. Is there a purpose to me looting this stuff? I, I, I don't, I don't think there is. All right, well, let's just quick save. Oh my gosh. What? Does she do it now? She doesn't do it now. She teleported, like, you know, teleported. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh my God, this game is so amazing. I get to play a Siri. Look, there's something there. Oh. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But. No buts, stay here. I must see something. Let's check out the eyes. Hmm. Bloodshot. 
but still moist. He died recently. And the head? Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Gosh, the, the detail. Again, I can see the pores on her face and, and her smudged makeup and... Oh my god, this game is so awesome. <laughs> uh, let's check out the chest. Uh, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. And his leg? Hmm. Something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Oh. Ew, that's horrible. <laughs> Stay there and look away. Hmm. <laughs> What's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. And finally, the belly. Let's see. Oh, his liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tied? All right, let's summarize. The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. My bet. The Wolf King got him. When did children get so smart? <laughs> what we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver, but I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No, a far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I love. Oh. Okay. Is this what we need to collect? Wolfsbane. Okay, that's one thing. And. Mistletoe. That's not what I need. Hmm. Wolves. Hide! Quickly! Ah! Oh wait! Let's teleport! <laughs> ah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Just so hot! <awesome. laughs> Come on, Siri! So cool. <laughs> They're gone. You can come out. You cut them up bad. Yep. Sure did. Let's see. Is this what I need? Parsley. Okay, that's the one I need. So blue flowers and these white flowers. And do parents often send their children out to follow the sweets? Sometimes they send their children. Sometimes they go themselves. Do they return? No. Why would they? They've plenty to eat where the path ends. Uh. All right. All right. I have everything. Now for a spot where I can build a fire and brew the oil in peace. Greasing my blade. There. We'll see just how effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. Okay, let's save again. And, uh, actually, I think this is where I'm going to end things for today. I've only got about a minute or two left, and I feel like this could go on a little bit. And Grelka's or Gretka's already run off. So who, who knows what's gonna happen next. So we'll pick up here tomorrow, playing as Siri, <laughs> and see what happens next. As always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Witcher 3 video.
Oh, let's see.